I hate that I'm creating this film right now. Everything about this film breaks my heart. It's the truth. But if we don't have anyone to protect us, then this is what you get. You know, you get riots. You got people out here going crazy. We losing loved ones every day to the people that sworn in to protect us. And no, it's not going to end today. I can't tell you it's going to end tomorrow. I don't know when it's going to end. You're all killing us. We can't make a change if y'all don't change. What we saw was a lynching. That's what a lynching is. Uh, we saw a white man deprive a black man of his life in public with the entire community staring and you know, horror struck. Now the world witnessed a lynching. But there have been lynchings happening in America for uh, hundreds of years. Um, this is what we have lived with. But the reason you see people willing to risk their lives in the middle of a plague and a pandemic and to go out and literally risk their lives to, to protest is because people are now fed up. So what you're seeing so now is a curtain falling you know away. And those of us who have been burdened by this every minute, every second of our entire lives are fragile right now. We are fragile right now. We are tired. And so I appreciate people who've been reaching out. I've had uh, people reaching out to me for two days now, expressing their empathy and their, their sympathy. My only prayer, look in the mirror at how you choke off black opportunity. 
how you choke off black dignity, how you behave in ways that make it harder for African Americans to rise in your profession, in your place of work, on your campus, in your house of worship, and start working on that. Because this is the last domino of a whole series of dominoes that have been falling for a long time. And black people have been getting gas lit every time we point this out. That is the problem, that we have allowed this contempt for black life to build and to build. And James Baldwin said it best. White people in these situations are always innocent, are always innocent. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Teach me, educate me, help me understand. I can't let this happen. Talk to me, tell me something, tell me what to do. White people are always innocent and their innocence constitutes their crime. It is too late to be innocent. I'll tell you what freedom is to me, no fear. I mean, really, no fear. If I, if I could have that skin is half of my life, no fear. Lots of children my have no fear. Arms are long. That's the closest way, that's the only way I can describe it. That's not all of it, but it is something to really, my really feel. Holy. My back is strong. <laughs> have you, have you, like, no. I've noticed like that. a new way of seeing. Enough to take like a new way of seeing. Inflicted again and again. What do they call me? My name is Aunt Sarah.